My name is Diakola Akamu from Nigeria. I'm a PhD candidate and a graduate research assistant at University of Tara Malaysia. Studying in Malaysia has been one of my best decisions in life. The university is so organized in such a way that international students are given platforms to participate in all sorts of academically or socially inclined programs. Both indoor and outdoor sport facilities are well equipped. The earth delivery system is also standardized. The supervisors are friendly and ready to offer help. The local language is also sweet and can be easily learned. I can honestly say Malaysia is my second home. I'm glad that Malaysia has created an environment that is conducive to making dreams come true for all international students. I'm Jen from South Korea. I've studied in Malaysia for a month from this January to February. At the very first time, I really didn't expect to study in Malaysia at all. But eventually, I got a lot of precious moments and had good friends here. For this time, I'd experienced lots of religions like Sikhism, Hinduism wearing each of the religious costumes, and had tasty Malaysian food like nasi lemak, I am Kunid and Tatarik as well. It was a pretty short period of time, but I could learn how to harmonize in diversities. I could get a lot of good impacts to choose my future path. I hope you come to Malaysia and have wonderful experiences like I did.
Hi guys, welcome again to our next session of EMGS course talk series. So in the next five minutes, okay, we will be uncovering some of the most important program offered by the Malaysian universities. So stay tuned with us until the end of the program to know more about the courses offered by the university. So throughout the session, feel free to raise any questions. Okay, if you have some comments or question by put your comments at our chat box below. So our team will, um, will answer the question as soon as possible. So before we start our session, feel free to click a like button on our Facebook page to get updated information about study in Malaysia. So today we have a very special guest from University Technology Petronas, okay, UTP which is one of our top private university in Malaysia. Today, our guest is uh, Associate Professor Dr. Khalid El Rais, which is the Chair, Petroleum Engineering Department, University of Technology, Petronas. Associate Professor Dr. Khalid today will talk about the Bachelor of Petroleum Engineering with honors. So, uh, welcome, uh, Doctor, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. How are you today, Doctor? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm still working yeah. from home. I working. hope everyone is safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, all good here. Thank you so much. So, uh, doctor, um, regarding yes. the Bachelor of Petroleum Engineering with Honours, one of the uh, special program, right, offered by the uh, UTP. So, um, can you explain to our audience here what makes this program so special compared to others? All right. Uh, well, thanks uh, for giving me this opportunity. First of all, uh, uh, just to, to brief a little bit about the petroleum engineering program here in UTB. Actually, the, the program is a comprehensively designed program linked with the strong input from the industry experts. And I think this is what makes us successful among the other uh, engineering schools that offer the petroleum engineering. Uh, basically, uh, our students can choose also the specialization that are in demand by the industry during their final year, which are they can go either into reservoir engineering, drilling engineering, or production engineering. Also, before students actually go into their final year, they have the opportunity to go into a seven months long internship. Uh, actually, this is the longest in the country, and I think only a few schools uh, across the globe offer a such duration for their internship. And we believe that this will prepare the graduates with the industry needs and the expectation. Uh, in addition to that, I mean, uh, our world-class teaching and learning capability, as well as the state-of-the-art labs and facilities with the strong partnership with the oil and gas companies like I mean, Petronas, like Baker Hughes, Halliburton, Schlumberger, Exxon. I cannot name, name all, but this is what makes our students or our graduates ready to join the market, ready to join the operators, the service providers, and other companies. Uh, also, we are actually very proud to, to share with you that UTB Petroleum Engineering Program is now is the, is the national best program, and we are ranked on the uh, 23rd in the QS World Ranking by Subjects when it comes to Petroleum Engineering. So this is what makes us unique when it comes to Petroleum Engineering in this region. Okay, uh, thank you, Doctor. So UTP, uh, the program now, okay, Bachelor of Petroleum Engineering, ranked as, at the twenty third. Yes, yes, that's right. Yes. Uh, QS ranking, I think that's uh, quite a high achievement. Okay, Cong congratulations to UTP. Thank you. Uh, actually, this is based on the QS ranking uh, twenty twenty one. You know, so it's just uh, the it's just it was released uh, last month. Okay, the, the, the latest ranking. Okay, doctor. Um, talking about the industry needs, okay, can you explain a little bit about the career pathway of the students who graduated from Bachelor of Petroleum Engineering? And also, can you share about the employment rate for UTP graduate from this program? 
All right. Well, uh, actually, you know, as I mentioned, in, in UTB, we have a very unique program for the internship, which is about a seven months internship. And during that period, basically, the student can build up a very good relation with the industry. They can build up a very, very good communication skills as well. And basically, they have a very good uh, exposure with the industry requirement. And we believe during this seven months experience, the student, they have they start knowing what are the key things that they have to learn, what are the key techniques that they have to have in order for them to, to success for, for, uh, in, in, their, in their future. Uh, when it comes to uh, employment, basically based on the data that we have now, it's about 90% uh, of our graduates are being employed within, seven, within six months. But of course, I mean, when I say six months, this is before the COVID-19 take, uh, take a place. Before that, actually, most of our student is employed within six months after graduation. And based on the analysis that we have done specifically for petroleum engineering, 70% of our alumni are currently working with the oil and gas industry. You know? When I mention oil and gas industry, it can be as an operator, uh, service providers, or any kind of companies that they have a direct business in the oil and gas. Okay, um, thank you. Answered the, the question well. Uh, uh, if if you don't mind, I can add uh, another interesting story. I think uh, even uh, even with the current situation with this COVID uh, nineteen, uh, last year uh, I mean some of our alumni from last year in uh, in in twenty twenty they graduated in twenty twenty, and uh, fortunately they was immediately hired. You know, and even it's not uh, they are not hired locally, but they was hired internationally. And uh, they have been giving about six months training in Dubai, and now they are uh, acting as a field engineer in Russia. Mm. I think another example, those who are just graduated last semester, I think just a few months back, they already hired, and now they are working in uh, Sarawak, in Miri, in, in Sarawak. Okay, okay. Thank you, Doctor. I think uh, for the graduate from this program, you know, have a very high uh, employment rate. Okay, um, the next question is about the uh, teaching quality because uh, for the students who go to study abroad, of course, they want the good uh, quality education offered by the foreign countries. So talking about the teaching quality, can you share a little bit about the qualification background of the lecturer that teach this program? Okay, uh, actually currently in the petroleum engineering program, we have about uh, 29 academic staff. This academic staff comes from different backgrounds. And the good thing about our academic staff that almost 50% of our academic staff, they come, they come from industry. They have a, a range of 20 to 20 years of uh, industry experience. So uh, in general, they are uh, very highly qualified and experienced staff. And a high percentage of them, they already got their chartered engineer and professional engineer, which is part of our accreditation process. And uh, our undergraduate student can benefit greatly from their knowledge and uh, experience. In addition to that, I mean, uh, the, the petroleum engineering program at UTP is accredited by the Engineering Accreditation Council, which is recognized by the country, by all countries under the Washington Accord. So the certificate or the, the those who are graduating from the program, they are not only recognized locally in Malaysia, but they are they have been recognized by other countries, all the other countries that is under the Washington Accord. So basically they have no problem with the uh, with their degree at all. You know? Okay, okay. Thank you, Doctor. And then uh, the next question is about the uh, financial because you know education is a long term investment whereby the parents need to prepare certain amount of financial for their kids, right? Yeah. So um, for this program, can you share a little bit about the fees and also the general entry requirement for the Bachelor of Petroleum Engineering? Uh, okay, that's the difficult question, okay? <laughs> uh, of course, because, you know, I cannot memorize all the, the, the fees, but I mean, uh, to my knowledge or based on the information that, ha I, that I have, in UTB here, I mean, we can accept uh, different students from different backgrounds. So basically, uh, for example, when it comes to foundation study, uh, the tuition fees for foundation is about 19,000, I think, for, uh, for local. 
and is about uh, 24,000 for international students. However, more information can be found in, uh, in UTB website. Uh, in addition to that, I mean, uh, we also accept applications to start from, uh, to start their foundation with the SPM holders, if we are talking about the, for local student or the O level or any other equivalent qualification to join our foundation program before they join the degree program. However, for those who have their, uh, their diploma or the uh, A level or any uh, equivalent qualification, those candidates, they can directly join the undergraduate program. And as I mentioned earlier, our undergraduate program is about for, uh, for uh, four years program. Students, they will go for uh, different engineering and non-engineering courses. And uh, the cost for this is about, uh, for international student, the cost is about 120,000 Malaysian ringgit. And uh, for the local, I think it's about 100 Malaysian ringgit. However, I mean, more details and all the costs and uh, the semester fees can be easily found in the university website. Okay, thank you, doctor, for answering all the questions. I think um, the tuition fee at UTP or UTP uh, or tuition fee in Malaysia in general are very affordable compared to other study destinations. So the students can get a quality education, the world-class education at very affordable price by choosing Malaysia as your study destination. So with that, uh, thank you so much, Doctor, for joining us today and share the valuable insights okay, about the Bachelor of Petro Petroleum Engineering with honors offered by the UTP. So to all of our viewers here, if you have uh, any further questions after this session, you can just uh, drop me an email or send us uh, WhatsApp or send us the message on our official Facebook page. So now, before we end the, the session, we would like to share a special message from our CEO, okay, Mr. Muhammad Razlan Jalaluddin, about study in Malaysia. With that, I hope to see you again on the next session of EMGS Cost Talk series. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome to all students. I'm Muhammad Razlan bin Jalaluddin, Chief Executive Officer of Education Malaysia Global Services EMGS. Thank you for joining EMGS course talk series. Malaysia is definitely the best choice for you to pursue your studies, regardless of programs or level of studies. Our quality of education is well recognized globally. The cost of living here is reasonable too. Malaysia is a beautiful country that is strategically located in the heart of Asia. You can experience a dynamic lifestyle with exciting adventures and places to explore. In addition, our cultural diversities make us unique. Moreover, your safety and well-being are our utmost priority as Malaysia is currently ranked 20th in the 2020 Global Peace Index report. These reasons make Malaysia very unique and should be your priority to further your studies. Rest assured that you will experience an education journey unlike any other. We welcome you with open arms and hope to see you soon in Malaysia. Selamat datang ke Malaysia. Thank you. Terima kasih.